Hey guys, I'm Emma. This is Shala. And we're gonna tell you about the four C's today, but first I'm gonna introduce us. This is Shala, she's the owner and designer of Shala Karami. And this is Emma, she's our new one-of-a-kind designer. She's been with us for four years, she worked as a product manager, now she's a senior product manager. So four C's. The first thing you need to know about is cut. Most people think that cut refers to the shape of a stone, but that's actually just shape. The cut refers to the cut, polish, and symmetry of a stone, how it sparkles. It's the most important C. You could have a stone that's super included with a nice cut, and it's gonna look nicer than a stone that's flawless with a bad cut. So when we're purchasing stones for ourselves or for customers, we try to stick with triple X for round stones and double X because they're only graded on polish and symmetry for fancy cuts, yeah. So fancy cuts can be marquee, cushion, oval, trillion, anything that's not a round shape. The next C is clarity. Clarity refers to how clean a stone is. The scale starts at I, I three, two, one. Then it goes to SI, meaning slightly included, three, two, one. And then VS, very slightly included, two, one. DVS is very, very slightly included, two, one. And then you have internally flawless. On the scale, we like to be at VS1, VS2. That's our sweet spot. It means it's gonna be completely eye clean, whether it's a brilliant cut or a step cut. Brilliant cut is like anything with a triangular facet. Step cut are stones like emeralds that you can kind of see right into. You don't need to go above VS because no one's gonna see the inclusions. Even with a loop, it's hard to find inclusions in a VS1, VS2. So I always tell people, don't spend money going above, and you can go a little bit lower in a brilliant cut, maybe to an SI1, depending on the budget. But VS, VS1 is where we like to be. All right, so the next C is color. And the color scale starts out at D and goes all the way down to Z. D, F is considered colorless. Then you go into G through J, which is near colorless. And then after that, it gets warmer and warmer all the way down to Z, which actually becomes yellow at that point. And then after that is the fancy yellow color scale, but that's another story for another day. Our sweet spot is at FG color and FG color stones, you can set in any metal and they look great. And the good thing about getting an FG color stone is that if later in life you decide to reset that stone or um, family decides to reset that stone in a white gold or platinum setting, then it's still gonna look beautiful. But if you know, you want to save in this area of the four C's, then you can kind of adjust this. So if you do really want white gold or platinum, I would say going down to H is great. Anything above H is great. But if you are setting in yellow gold, rose gold, it's okay to go down to J, even K, depending on the specific stone. And you'll still have a really great stone that faces up very white. And the last C is carrot. The thing you need to know about carrot is the price jumps. The price jumps drastically in natural stones at one carat, one and a half carat, two carat, two and a half carat, three, four, five. Um, in cultivated right now, we're seeing that it's pretty linear until it gets to about three carats and then we're seeing big jumps. And I expect that's gonna go down over time as well. So when we're working with a customer, we always say, let's not compromise on cut. That's where you spend the money. Let's not compromise on clarity. You're gonna get it in our sweet spot. So you really only have to choose between color and carrot. So with our customers, we usually pull three stones, if we can, and we can get in that shape. So we pull one that's colorless and a little bit smaller, one in our sweet spot, FG, that's kind of in the middle, and then we pull one on the lower end of the scale, depending on what color metal you're setting it in, that's the biggest. It's a lot like art anyway, when you're looking at stones, you wanna pick the one that speaks to you. Um, but some people, you know, they just see size and like, this size is what I want yeah, and I'm okay with this to. color. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's whatever speaks to you. It's all personal choice. Some people love M color, K color. They just think having the warmth is beautiful. You see that in a lot of antique stones. Yeah. Usually when someone comes in, I just kind of see what's most important to them. That's the first thing. And then we kind of adjust the color depending on that and even go into, you know, cultivated versus natural, but that's in the next video. Definitely in the next video. <laughs> you have to talk about that in the next video. Okay. She's the cultivated queen. She's biased. Yeah, I'm a little bit biased. I'm a little biased. Don't read my article because you'll really know. I'm also biased. I, really I love cultivated. <laughs> She's a queen or so, but yeah. All right. That's the four C's. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Definitely yeah. click below, subscribe, like. like it. And click the link below to learn more about the four C's, but a more condensed version. Bye guys. Bye.